Let me in. Let me in, please. <laughs> Oh my god, I was filming on an angle this whole time. God damn it. Hi, welcome to Farhad. I'm your host Farhad and this is Farhad. So what's up guys? How are you going? What's uh what's new? What's cracking? Tell me, tell me what's going on. Mmm, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I hate when she does that. Oh, no way, she sounds like a bitch. Okay, enough about you, back to me. Hi! So I'm back in class today. Yeah, that's crazy. I what? It's 2021 and I'm still in class. I'm turning 27 years old this year and I'm still at uni. And there's nothing against people who go to uni at a later stage in their life. It's just the fact that I've been in uni since I finished high school. That means I haven't stopped being in school since... That you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. How many years is that? Almost 20 years! <gasps> So in case you didn't know, I'm in like the tail end of my um, law degree at Monash University. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm actually towards the end of my degree in Monash. I've got a couple of assignments left. But today, today is the first day of my final ever class. I can't believe it, like eight years of university life, it's gone. Today is the beginning of the end, really. All my friends graduated years ago. I'm really the only person I know left at uni, like in my cohort anyway. We all kind of started together. Everybody went off and did their own thing. And here I am just like, uh. I just got so busy with work, you know? I've been working full time for the past five years at this point. There was a point during my degree about two years ago where I was working three paid jobs and on top of that I was volunteering at like a legal center like once a week. So I was working like close to 100 hours a week. I don't know how I did that. Correction, I don't know how I did that sober. Eight years of uni life has come to this. This is it. This is the end and I feel okay about it. I'm not upset. Um... I will miss using my student code everywhere I go for discounts because as a student you do become accustomed to not paying full price for things. Like I still have my student discount for Apple Music, like I don't want to pay the full price for it, that's crazy. Oh, it's gonna be awful. So I have quite a few assignments due later in this week, uh, so I thought I would try and get a video filmed today so I can try and stick to a weekly schedule. <laughs> We know how that's going so far. So right now it is uh, 9.40. My class starts at 10, so I've got 20 minutes to like speed this shit up. Uh, I already showered, brushed my teeth. I haven't had breakfast because I'm a notorious breakfast skipper. I don't think I've had breakfast for nine years, maybe. Except when I'm on vacation because I do love a free buffet breakfast at a really nice hotel like that. So we're still, you know, online classes. You know, these universities have to kind of prepare for the worst. So they organize the classes as though they might go into lockdown again. I'm sure most people in the world are probably still doing online classes. I don't really know. Whatever. It is a bit of a shame that my final ever class is online. I would have liked to go back into campus for a few days um, just to kind of say goodbye to the walls. I don't know. Do they let you back into the university after you've graduated? But to make it a bit more exciting, I thought I would at least dress up for this class. I mean, I'm gonna be on video call. People are gonna see my beautiful face. Let's just give them a show. So I'm gonna get dressed. And then my class starts in a few minutes and uh, we'll get going. I gotta speed this up. All right, ciao. Okay, so here's my outfit. I've got my little brown polo on underneath. Uh, I've got my Taylor Swift merch on. Who doesn't love Taylor Swift? I probably wouldn't wear this if I actually was in class because I am a little bit embarrassed that it's a Taylor Swift shirt, but on Zoom you can only see probably like this much, so I don't think anyone's gonna notice. And I got these brown pants on, they kind of match the shirt. Okay, well I think I'm running late, so I better hurry up. So this is my study space. As you can see, it's a very Ikea furnished. So we've got an Ikea chair, an Ikea table. All right, I better get on. <coughs> But you're right there. Okay, I am one minute late to class already, so that's not a good start. How do I join this thing? Let me in! Let me in, please! Okay, we'll make a start. Welcome everyone to Refugee Law. The way we're going to work this week, by the way, is that... I can have a pre record of what the... 
Okay, so I should probably start paying a bit more attention, so I'm just gonna turn this off for a bit. Catch you later. Okay, so we have a five minute break, so I have to try and see if I can make another coffee in that five minutes. Let's do this. Just in case you're wondering, I'm using the St. Ali coffee today. This is the organic peach black tea chocolate flavored one. My class started already. I was just in a breakout room with two other people and literally no one spoke for the entire 10 minutes I was in that room. That's okay. So my class is over. It's only midday, I had a really short day of classes today. That's quite nice to just have like a few hours of class and then get to really just do anything I want for the rest of the day because that's all my life is really about. I don't really know what to do now. Normally when I'm like physically on campus, after class I would just kind of like hang around, have some lunch, go out for coffee, meet up with friends. That's not really a possibility right now because A, you know, COVID times, people are still kind of stuck in their homes, even though we're allowed to be out, but you know. And number two, it is like 1 p.m. on a Monday, so you know, most of the people I know are probably at work. I can't believe I'm at the age where people in my life are working all the time. Like, so like five years ago, this would be the time where everybody was free because we'd all just finish our morning classes on a Monday. We'd be living our best uni lives, doing whatever we wanted. But like, unfortunately now we don't have that opportunity anymore. It's just like, go to class, you're home. Go to work, you're home. Being an adult is really just like relinquishing any free time you have because you're just at work all the time. Oh well. Well, I don't really know what to do now, so I guess I may as well just like make some lunch and eat that. Alright, well let's go have some lunch. Hello, we're in my kitchen now. Well, I say we're in my kitchen, but my apartment has like two rooms, so we're still in, you know, the same space. I'm gonna be making some lunch now. It's a Caribbean bean bowl, which is basically just like a bowl of like coconut rice with a bunch of different salsas and beans and stuff all on top. So let's get into it. Uh, I am in my kitchen, but I've got like the Grammys kind of playing right now, just over here, as you can see. Um, it's Miranda Lambert right now, and if I'm being completely honest, I couldn't name a single Miranda Lambert song, so I don't really have the sound on. The problem is I can't watch and do this at the same time, because if I have the sound on, I'm gonna get copyrighted and the video will get taken down. So I'm gonna do more cooking and less talking and just listen to this. Um, yeah, so let's just get straight into this. I'm gonna start by just cooking the rice. I am following a recipe card for this, so don't get, um, agitated if you see me struggling. It's supposed to be a 20 minute recipe, but I feel like it's probably gonna take like 40 minutes for me to make, cause I'm kind of an idiot. All right, so, we need to add the coconut milk, salt, bring it to the boil. Uh, I don't fucking have a can opener. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do when you don't have a can opener. If it works, it works. It didn't really work. Okay, the rice is cooking. I gotta get all the veggies kind of ready to go. Oh my God, it's so hot. I'm also afraid I might like get some stains on this jumper, so I should probably take it off. Okay, that's kind of better. Let's get into this.
believe it's my job. <laughs> oh, hey again. So in between me turning my camera off and turning it back on, Taylor Swift won another Grammy. That's fucking great. Very happy for her. Totally deserves it. It's all great, whatever. So I've just spent a bit of time working on an assignment that I have due on Friday, which is four days away. Four nights away. It's four nights away. So I kind of need to get a move on with that assignment just to get it out of the way. Otherwise, I will probably have a very stressful week and... Ugh. Honestly, at this point, it's like eight years of university has taught me anything is that you can leave an assignment to the very last minute and you can still get a good grade, so... Do with that what you will. Why would I change that this late in the game? I'm not going to. I have dinner plans with my friend that I have to leave for in about two hours, I think, so... I've got some time to kill, so before I meet up with my friend, I think I'm just gonna quickly sneak in a gym session, try and get back into my regime. God, I haven't gone to the gym in a while. Okay, I'm gonna get ready for the gym. Let's go. Gym check! Okay, I need to speed this up because I'm running out of time. Where are my keys? I live in such a small apartment that I'm just like, how am I ever losing anything? Like, there's two rooms. All right, let's just get this going. Go to the gym and take out the garbage. That is what I call efficiency. So I'm just kind of walking to the gym now. Uh, I kind of hate this gym. I haven't been to the gym in a few weeks now, which isn't good for walking across the road. I mean, like, honestly, I really don't care if I'm fit anymore. Oh, well, that's not true. Okay, I do care if I'm fit. It's just that I don't want to put any effort into actually being fit, if that makes sense. So if I could just be fit. Is that what steroids do? Maybe I should look into getting steroids. Oh my god, okay, you hear me out. When I was on the treadmill, which is the last thing I did when I was at the gym just before, this guy got onto the treadmill right next to mine, which is like, great, whatever, live your life. But I could literally smell him from like at least two meters away, because obviously the treadmills are far away from social distancing. You guys, <laughs> this guy smelled so bad and I felt terrible. Like, should I tell him? Should he know or should I just let him kind of go about his days. In the end, I said absolutely nothing because that's just how the person I am. So poor guy's just out there doing his thing. Okay, it's kind of a hard topic, but I want to hear your thoughts. Like if you were out in public and you smelt really, really bad, like uncomfortably bad for everyone around you, would you want someone to tell you or would you rather just stay ignorant? Cause like, what if you had plans that night or something? Maybe I should have said something. Guess we'll never know now. Ugh. I'm so tired, as always. I'm ready for a nap, to be honest. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot nap because I need to go meet my friend for dinner. There is a dog where I'm going, so, you know, that's definitely made the excitement of having to go out just a little bit up, just a little bit. Okay, it's 6.45. I have to take a shower, get dressed, and then I'm just gonna go out for dinner, and that's actually gonna be the rest of my night. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm probably gonna crash after dinner. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys here. Oh, bye. I hope you had a fun day with me. I actually had a lot of fun filming. It was nice to like be in class, but also have someone there. It did just a little bit make me feel like I actually was in class as compared to sitting in a dark room by myself on Zoom. Thank you for that, I had a lot of fun. Also please answer my question in the comments below as to whether you think you should tell someone that they smell really bad in public or whether you should just keep it to yourself. I'm still not sure. If it was a friend telling me, I feel a lot more comfortable, but the idea of a stranger telling me, 
Actually, I take that back. I would prefer a stranger told me because that way I wouldn't have to worry about ever seeing that person again. Whereas if it's a friend, they'll always kind of give you that kind of shit about, oh, I remember that time you smelled really bad. Maybe that's just my friends. Maybe I need better friends. So, you know. And also just a very quick thank you. I noticed that I recently passed 100 subscribers. Ah! I think between 20 and 30 of them are people I know in real life. So if you're watching, hello, it's me. Don't tell anyone at work. But all the other people from across the world, like I was looking at my analytics and it's so strange that like quite a big portion of my subscribers are from the US, which is really cool. So if you're from the US and you're watching this, hello. I've been rambling on for like 10 minutes now. Okay, I better wrap this up. Okay, so I need to leave my house in nine minutes. I still need a shower and get dressed. Do I need a gift? No, I don't need a gift. It's a dinner party. Oh, it's just dinner. I don't need a gift. Maybe a gift for the dog. <laughs> so I'm going to go take a shower and rush out of here. Thank you so much for watching the video, for liking, subscribing, commenting, whatever you choose to do. Any kind of engagement is great. So please engage with me. I'm a real person. Okay. Anyway, bye.